Warbler migration is one of the most exciting times of the year for nature lovers. However, these small birds can often be hard to spot. Therefore, it's important to know their calls and songs. Here are some tips and mnemonic devices to help learn how to identify these warblers by ear. Keep in mind there's a lot of variability to these songs, and each one is edited to play at least twice. The yellow rumped warbler song is a trill that has two parts, a 2 2 2 2 section and a 2 2 2 section at the end. The black and white warbler song sounds kind of like wheezy 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 wheezy. Some people compare it to a squeaky wheel. It also sounds very thin. The Tennessee Whirler makes a three-part staccato song that sounds like ticka 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 chip 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 sit 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 sit. The Orange Crown Warbler song can stay on a single pitch, but may rise slightly in the middle, and seems to have a distinctive rising or falling note. Sometimes it's compared to chi 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 chi. The Nashville Warbler song is loud and has two parts. The first sounds like see bit see bit see bit, and the second sounds like t t t t t. So all together it'd be see bit see bit see bit t t t t t t t. The Northern Perula song is very buzzy and ascends at the end, kind of sounding like zee up, but I also just think of it as their zipper call. The Yellow Warbler song sounds like they're saying, sweet, 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 I'm so sweet. The Magnolia Warbler has a couple different ways to remember it. Some people say it sounds like wheat weedio or weedo weedo weedio. The Cape May Warbler has a very high song and it sounds like sing 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 sing. Other people say it sounds more like seat 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 and the notes will be on the same pitch. The Black Throated Green has a buzzy song that sounds like zay zay zoo zee or other people say it sounds like trees trees murmuring trees. The black throated blue warbler sounds like it's saying I am lazy or beer 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 bee with the ending accentuated in this buzzy call. The chestnut sided warbler sounds like it's saying please 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 to meet ya. The oven bird song gets louder with each note and it sounds like it's saying teacher 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 teacher. The Blackburnian Warbler song sounds like a very rapid zip 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 t t t t t t c with that final note being very high. They also have a secondary song when males encounter each other that sounds like tsa 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 The American Red Star sounds like Z Z Z zit or Z Z zit with kind of a wheezy quality and some people describe the end as sounding like they're sneezing. The Prothonotary Warbler is a loud sweet 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 or sweet 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 or some people say tweet 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 tweet. The hooded warbler sounds like weedo weedo weedio, or other people say it sounds like Richie Richie, I'm right here. The golden wing warbler sounds like bee buzz buzz, or bee buzz buzz buzz, with the buzzes being lower in pitch than the bee. The blue wing warbler has a song similar to the golden wing warbler, also sounding like bee buzz, but might have twittering notes at the end. The pine warbler has a musical trill that's actually very similar to the chipping sparrow call.
the Cerulean Warbler song sounds like zray 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 z with a buzzy ending. The Black Pole Warbler song sounds like it fades in, increases in volume, and then fades back out, and can be compared to little sit, 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 sit notes. The common yellow throat sounds like it's saying witchity, 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 witchity. The Louisiana water thrush song is highly variable, but it normally has a few clear notes that descend and then kind of a jumble at the end of it. Some people say it sounds like swea, 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 chi, you twit, it, chit, and fades at the end. The northern water thrush song is more choppy than the Louisiana, and sounds like chee chee chee, chip chip chip, choo choo choo. The morning warbler song has two parts, with the second being lower in pitch, and can sound like cheery cheery, chori chori. The Wilson's Warbler song is a series of fast notes that can drop in pitch at the end, sounding like chee 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 chee. The worm eating warbler song is very insect like and has been described as a dry trill. The Canada Warbler song starts with a chip, then has multiple staccato notes with the last one normally rising in pitch. Some have said it sounds like chip chuppity sweet ditchity. The Kirtland's Warbler song is highly variable, but some people say it sounds like ch ch chattanooga choo choo. The Swainson's Warbler song has been described as sounding like dita dita whippoorwill with those three last notes accented. Others say it sounds like tear, 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 weety widow. The Kentucky warbler has a galloping call that can sound like tori, 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 or churry, 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 churry. The prairie warbler has a buzzy song that gets louder and louder, sounding like zzz, 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 zzz. The yellow-throated warbler sounds like neater, 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 I'm so neat. The bay-breasted warbler sounds like TC, 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 TC. Very high, thin, double syllabic call. The Connecticut Warbler song sounds kind of jerky and can be remembered by Beecher, Beecher, Beecher. The Palm Warbler has a buzzy fast trill that sounds like zwee, 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 zwee. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you have other mnemonic devices or tips for remembering these songs, please let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.